YouTube, Mesic Gaming was here, and uh, welcome back to my Skyrim Let's Play. And as we left off last episode, I'm here at the Companion's little shop, or house, or apartment, whatever this place is. I mean, this is the old medieval times, so I don't know what they used to call it. I'm just gonna call it their home. Okay, so some nights I dream, and um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do this episode. Like I think I have an idea. I think I'm about to go. Shut up! Shut up! Why does everybody keep talking to me? Why does everybody keep talking to me? Trying to make an episode. Here? Who's doing it? Who's doing it? I will beat you up. Can I close the door? warriors are smart to listen to older ones. I should do the trick. Right? Let me try to get close to the door. See if he can talk to me. Nah, nice. And before the servant comes, I'm gonna quickly get to this. Um, yep. So, episode four, Skyrim. Let's play. Let's begin. Uh, today I think we're gonna go to we're gonna start the Dragon's Reach mission. I think that is what it's called. Let me check it out. Uh, quest. Uh, we're gonna be doing. Oh, Bleak Falls Barrel. I have to retrieve the Dragon Stone. That should not be too hard. That one should take a lot. You know, that one should take a while though. And then uh, retrieve the Golden Claw. We're also gonna do that one because it's a two-in-one type of deal. And that's kind of why um, I wanted to get the Golden Claw. Mish, uh, quest before I came to this town, village, city, place. So, um, let's just get started. So, I know where to go, and I'm, like always, I'll be back. Uh, no way. I was about to say I'll be back, but. Oh, yeah. I'll be back once uh, this loading screen is done, so. Be right back. Back, guys. And, um, like I was saying. I, I think I have a pretty good understanding of, of where the cave is. Who said that? Well, I do not have to prove myself, Grandpa. When the okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Be back when this loan screen is done. Stop. Okay, guys. And uh, so I was saying, I keep getting interrupted. Um. I do know where it is, so that shouldn't be too hard to find. It's just uh, somewhere like in those mountains over there, or those, or those, or whatever mountains it is. I do know where it is. Why does Skyrim always feel? Why does Skyrim always feel like I'm running slow? I guess I'm just used to running so fast in other games, like um, Saints Row the Third, which. In case you guys are wondering, the Let's Play of Saints Row the Third, I think, will continue uh, Wednesday. So, two days after I think I'll be uploading this video, if I do upload this Monday, um, uh, Wednesday will be the day. I know your family's honor is important Ooh, just to you, watch. but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some, some rusty old because... sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. I work men. with my mother. You sell fruits starve. and vegetables. It's fun I'll put it plainly. You can claim work. your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Ooh, burn. You feel the warm hotness here. from that burn? Wait, I... I'm mean, talking to you. Seen in the company of uh, the you tried mercenary oh, work? Yeah. It might suit you. What were you guys arguing about, huh? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Uh, do you need help? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the I'm companions a companion. to get Did it. I'm a companion. you know that? I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Nice. That's another quest to add to my list. If you find that sword. Yeah, I sure do. Right sure will, man. Um, but I do have another quest to get to. So, and where's the exit? There it is. Superman. I <laughs> look like uh, that guy from Assassin Creed, from the. The one with the revolutionary one. I don't know what number that is. So many Sky, so many Assassin's Creed movies lately. Okay, be back once loading screen's done. Stop. 
um, you know what I've realized while the loading screen, you know, was happening and stuff? Um, I gotta stop saying, be right back when the loading screen <laughs> is done. I'm just gonna edit that out. I mean, the last couple times when I said it, um, you guys will still hear that, but I'm not gonna say that no more. I'll just go through the door and come out the other side and pretend nothing happened like I was doing. Don't know why I changed, but yeah, just want to let you guys know. And, um, okay, so I'm gonna try to find my way back to the town I was in at the beginning, which was, I don't remember. Ooh, let me talk to this guy real quick. Sir. You, yeah, you leopard. What do you have for sale? How can I assist? What do you sell? Mm. Um, Take a look. Okay. Looks like you have potions, food, ingredients, uh, weapons. What do you got for a weapon? Uh, nice. A lot of swords, huh? Um, food. What do you have for food? Useless. Moon sugar. That's expensive and rare. So, I have to remember you selling it. You know, you sell some. Don't exactly have a place to make potions at yet, but I'll be back. May your road lead you to warm Thank you. If that was a compliment. And I'm gonna. Oh wait, I just remembered something. I'm. Nope. I I think I could fast travel back to the old town I was in, which was. Uh. Hmm. I think it was this town over here. I think it was called Riverwood. There it goes. Riverwood. Where's Riverwood? Uh, White Run, Honeybrew, Dragon Reach is right here. Where's Riverwood? Is that Riverwood? Dragon Reach looks like it's closer over here, but I know that's not true. I'm going to fast travel to Riverwood. Hey, little chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Quick tip for you guys who are not so familiar with Skyrim and are just watching my Let's Play just because. Um, don't ever kill one of these guys' chickens. They will send their wives. They'll do it themselves, but they'll do anything they can to kill you. Uh, so, and they probably won't forgive you for a very long time. If they forgive you at all in the first place. I've dealt with these guys, so I know. Anyway. Uh, Dragon Reach is all the way on top of there. We'll be there shortly. Of course we will. But in the meantime, I'll be talking more about this Skyrim Let's Play <laughs> that I'm doing. Uh, sorry guys if the last three episodes, I believe, are not too entertaining. But trust me, things will start getting a lot more entertaining further along the S series. How do I know? Just because I was kind of bored of this game at first when I first started playing it. Oh, 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 no. I kicked it in the head. Whoa. That wolf just tried to interrupt me. See? It's, this this game throws a lot of stuff at you. And, um, like I was saying before, um, yeah. It would get a lot more exciting because right now, you know, it's the beginning. You do the beginner stuff. You know, soon we're going to start doing some stuff. I don't really want to spoil too much for those of you who haven't played Skyrim. And I know that's a lot of you because this channel, I, I would say, is mostly Call of Duty for now. But I, I, I like Let's Plays. I really love doing Let's Plays. They're fun, entertaining for me. And I, I really like it. Oops, am I going the right way? I hope so. So, um, that's why um, I love to do Let's Plays. They're just entertaining for me, and I uh, hope you guys are entertained by them too. Anyway, I hope this series will hopefully start getting really good. Ooh, I'm not gonna get too close. I'm gonna continue speaking before I get there, cause I know there's some terrifying people out there. In fact, I'll get out my bow real quick, take that out just to be prepared. But um. Other questions, uh, other or other things for those of you who do watch my Skyrim Let's Play and at the same time are Call of Duty fans. Tomorrow, Buried's coming out. And if you guys haven't watched, and if you guys are watching this Monday and you still haven't watched my Buried commentary, you should. But to be honest, even that doesn't compare to a video from Matrix, the channel Matrix, Ali A. I'm sure most of you know him because he's probably number one subscriber for Call of Duty. And in fact, I'll be willing to bet he is. 
Uh, he did release early game footage and he shows off a lot of stuff. I won't be talking too much about Call of Duty right now just because it's a Skyrim let's play. Let's just forget about the outside world and just focus in on this. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good for those of you who like Call of Duty and are looking forward to that map pack. Um, go ahead and watch it. I might link it in the description, but yeah I actually probably will so um anyway let's get back into this I'll be talking more about you know me in a little second or I might just leave it for another day but let's go see what's in there see I see somebody there I wish I could zoom in but I don't have that feature yet he did not see he saw me this guy sees me might as well just go walk normally now towards them oh I'm in a fight this guy's not, I'm not gonna let him reach me. And I'm, oops, why did I take, why did I put my thing in? Anyway, guys, luckily the game pauses when I loot him. That's not really too realistic, but eh, doesn't do anything to hurt me. Rabbit hunch, huh? Uh, you can make really good food with food, so quick tip, because I, I wouldn't say I'm the best Skyrim player out there, but I've learned a couple stuff along the way, and a uh, quick tip for you guys out there, um, get as much food as you can. Usually the weight is really low, so you don't have to worry about the weight. But um, you see any food on them, or you see any food in the dungeons or wherever you are, and you know you can get yourself some. Do it. In fact, get it all because it will really help. Like I'll show you guys later why to do. You know why it's good to do this. But for now, just just trust me. And what else do I want to get? Uh, quick, also another tip. Always try to get something at a ratio of 1 to 10. You know? That, um, you know, so it's, its weight has to equal the amount of money you would get in return. Like 825, that doesn't exactly do it for me. So, no, 925, that, that won't do it for me. So, I'm not going to take anything. Just because I know there's a lot of loot. No, nope. hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Ow. <gasps> this is really gonna hurt. <sighs> no. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Ah. If I could get a nice aim. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. This is a lot different than Call of Duty. Where is he? Trying to get a good aim or something? Got an arrow back. And can I search his bandit real quick? Yeah. I'll take all the gold, take the iron arrow, and that's it. Oops. Where are you? I'm ready to kill you. Oops, that was terrible. I missed. I'll get him, I'll get him. Oh my god. I'm so used to different types of fighting styles. What? I didn't get him that time? Oh, yeah, I got him this time. Oh, final kill cam. I love the way this final kill cam type of thing shows up in Skyrim. I really do enjoy the combat system here. For those of you who are friends, and I mean, you know, I know you in real life, and you watch my channel, um, I recommend buying Skyrim. I know a certain person, I'm not going to say his name, doesn't really enjoy Skyrim, but uh, I would give it a try. It's, it's an extremely fun game, really nice story. And in fact, I wouldn't call it a story, more like really nice stories. Just because, you know, there's no really one way to end the game and there's no way to go about it. You just do it your own way, so. Now, hopefully I don't run into anything. I think there's some more people to face up there. I'm not so sure. So, let's go do it. Let's go do this. And I discovered Bleak Falls. Nice. I don't want to rush in there because I know there's a couple people waiting up there. You know, I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you. Um, but I'm definitely going to be spoiling a lot of stuff. You know, eventually something you didn't know, I will tell you. If it's a potion ingredient, it's a potion ingredient. If it's something else, it's something else. But I guarantee you, I'll spoil something. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm prepared to shoot if anybody shows yourself. If you guys show yourselves. Anybody there? 
Uh oh. It's probably a good idea to kill this guy first. Oh shoot. I love a good fight. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No fighting, no fighting, please. No fight. Cheater. You can't win this. I can't. <sighs> I'm gonna search her real quick. I'll take your gold, your lockpick, and that's it. Nope, missed. I'll get you. I'll get you too. I oh, really, really, I need to upgrade soon. Oh, I got one of them. I'll get you. You're not impressed, huh? My aiming's not good enough for you, sir. Wow, this guy's getting some really good shots on me. And look, she has a backup too, so it's unfair. Why don't you face me one versus one, huh? I gotta take that off and get my combat system, my sword. Okay, let's search this bandit. That's 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 what I like to do. Hunting bow. I'm gonna take one of these because I don't have one of those yet. I'll take all his arrows, and uh, I'll definitely take a woodcutter's axe. But it's gonna be. It might be necessary for future things. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I would also take uh, the ring because it's extremely valuable for sorts of things. Uh, I wouldn't take this. I don't really. I, I never find myself needing this, but I think it might be useful for later. But you're gonna find lots of that, so I'm not gonna need it. Lockpick for sure, and the goat. That's what I would take. Right. Luckily, I did learn electric. Uh, forgot to dispel. Really effective. Really effective against uh, archers spells. I'll take some gold. I'll take this ingot, and I'll take all the arrows. Yeah, that's all I take from you. Time to go. Finally, get in here and see what's up in here. So let's do this. Welcome, guys. Here's uh, Bleak Falls, and um, quick little tip. You might want to use a longbow when you first get in here. And sneaking might also help. There's going to be a lot of dead bodies and stuff. Oh, kill these guys first. Recommend that. You have to hit a perfect target. So I'll take out the guy first. No sexism involved, but I think he's the tougher one. No sexism at all. <laughs> See? I killed him. It was a sneak attack kill, so it did double damage. Yeah, see that this was the archer, so... The other guy actually, you know, he's uh, a hammer or something, I forgot. Anyway, I killed you. Ooh. Arrows. <laughs> what? Why can't I search your body? And why can't I... What's happening? Am I... Am I do I have telekinesis or something? Oh, I can search him now. Or her sorry uh, arrows and gold is most likely the number one thing you want from these guys you definitely want this oh yeah quick tip for you guys for those of you who don't know and uh, you know are new to Skyrim and for some reason just want to see a Skyrim let's play you know because you know you want to you thinking about getting Skyrim uh, um, well quick tip potions like there's potions here uh, there's ingredients to make potions of course but so you see how it says unknown down there on the bottom you see that um, that means you don't know its effects and to find out the, the effects you have to eat the food you have to eat it to get to know one of its effects so you have to eat eventually everything I would start out by just uh, I wouldn't eat too many at a time and I'll do it in a safe place because some of these are poisonous and stuff they will never kill you at least uh, that's as far as I know they will never kill you but I would still make sure um, I would still make sure you know your safe place so I uh, see this damages your stamina and see yeah. uh, I'll just do it one at a time and uh, anyway yeah that's some little something about the ingredients and potions I might be doing that you know a lot and now I know these things are important. Anything that has to do with potions is usually important. Trust me, potions are very useful. Future.
In fact, even very early in the game. Not this early, but very early. So I'm gonna search the bandit. I'll take that. Did I miss any bandits? I probably did. But I really don't wanna take all, you know, use all my time trying to loot people and stuff. Okay, and this shouldn't be too hard because I'm really got I'm really good at lock picking. You guys need help with that? Uh, I could definitely help you guys. See, first try. I learned a trick to lock picking. Lock picking. So I used to not be able to do that. Anyway, I am around here. I I believe that in this in this I will call this a dungeon, but I don't think that would be the right word for this. I would definitely uh use some type of um some type of sword magic spells you know being an archer you might have a little difficulty here but you can still be an archer if you want to i'm not gonna judge you i won't tell you what to do yeah skeever tails skeevers by the way guys are um i don't know exactly what skeevers are i mean i'm not a skyrim expert but what i think of him is Think about like rodents nowadays, rodents, rats, but you know, humongous rats. So they live in dark caves, and I think they could even live in the woods. So not not always in caves, but they attack you. Uh, they're pretty easy to kill. One hit, swipe him. I'm a level one right now, and I just one hit swipe him. So and uh, is there two ways to go? Uh, nope dead end so let's go down here I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to the wrapping up point but uh, of course um, I don't got this keeper tail uh, I do want to say you got what am I zoomed in no 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 for some reason why do I feel like I'm zoomed in a lot more than usual oh it's just the place I was at okay and as I walk in closer and as I walk in right here why does, why does it feel like I'm zoomed in? Oh, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That does not do anything. Same thing. Same thing. No. Wrong one. Uh, no. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. I was going to show you guys my face before I wrapped up. But, um, yeah. Guys, I hope you really enjoy this Skyrim Let's Play. This episode was, I would say, a little boring. But at the same time, not. I did face a couple of things, but next episodes, they forward to it. We're probably going to face some undead skeletons and stuff like that. So, um, I'm about to say my piece, but I do have some other stuff to say. I'm not going to be talking as much as I usually do, <laughs> if I talk a lot, usually. But I do got to say, um, like, subscribe, share this Let's Play, and, um, Hopefully this lasts long and a uh, quick question for you guys. You guys excited for PlayStation 4? Will you guys be getting it? Um, you know, that's something to think about. I, oh yeah, information uh, for you guys. Uh, I will not be getting the PlayStation 4. Um, why? Because, I mean, I probably will eventually, but the truth is most games... Uh, more newer games like Call of Duty Ghosts or anything like that of the sorts are coming uh, out about two months before the PlayStation 4 comes out which means for two months I wouldn't be able to show you guys the new games and I really want to I'm gonna get brand new games like I'm buying Call of Duty Ghosts of course I'm a Call of Duty fan yeah and I'll be buying Grand Theft Auto 5 I'm also a GTA fan if you guys haven't noticed by my other video <laughs> I will be getting uh, Battlefield 4. You know, I enjoy shooting games. So I don't know why. I guess, you know, I guess I just do. And I will also be getting Saints Row the 4. In case you guys haven't noticed, I also really enjoy the game. And I have seen some gameplay of it, and I really do like it. So, look forward to that. And if you guys do honestly want me to get PlayStation 4 for some reason, um,. I will try my best to get it, but of course, it's really expensive, and not everybody can afford stuff like that, including me. <laughs> Definitely not the richest man in the world, so... Oh, who was that? I heard somebody yell. Huh? Um, uh, what's down there? What's down there? 
I think that oh I'm about to do something I do not want to do that just yet so I'm gonna go around here and actually come back up here so I can say my goodbyes can I zoom in now when can I zoom in oh my god and eh, who cares anyway guys stay tuned in for uh, next episode but for now this has been Mesa gaming with Skyrim let's play episode number five four in case for you guys you know I was just trying to make it clever wordplay but did not really work so um, Oh, <laughs>